Hello, welcome to next video about the buttons in WinCC V7. In last videos, we video one and video second, we did the push buttons for the SCADA system, for, for example, momentary, like we see on screen, the dynamic dialog, C action and visual basic script action. We did in second video a uh, set reset push buttons so you can set and reset the bits in this video we want to make the toggle and the switch buttons in WinCC V7 so we are ready to complete the buttons push buttons inside our SCADA let's go to graphic designer we have the screen buttons the switch is used in controlling the for example motors or valves where we need to turn on and turn off with one button and we can use this kind of stuff let's copy this text and we can make the toggle and let's make the copy of this script so today we can't use the dynamic dialog because dynamic dialog is not possible to make the toggle so we can delete this and we have two possibilities we have the C action and visual basic let's go to C action if we go to mouse we see our old scripts we can delete the release left and we go to press left so anytime we press left our button we can toggle our bit our bit is output binary and this output binary is set in tag management system inside our buttons we see the value is zero so at the beginning we need to set at the bottom of the script we need to define our internal tags inside this script so we can define the bool value for example now we can read data from this output binary with using get tag bit so we can just so after we read this data we have the value inside the TST1 after we read this bit we need to make the function if function so if our output binary was 1 we need to set the 0 and if our output binary was 0 we need to make this 1 so we can make just if function And we can put else condition so if taste one is one we need to put the zero after we go with else function we go to one okay we need ok 
okay now we don't have the errors inside so our script looks like we see on screen so anytime we see the get tag bit is one we go to set this to zero after we have the zero we turn on again this bit okay we need to save this data and we go to WinCC runtime we need to go to any other screen to refresh we go to again to buttons after we click on C action we turn on the speed after we click again we can turn off for example the motor the same we can make this visual basic script editor let's go to graphic designer and let's make this script with visual basic script in my opinion visual basic script is better to use for beginner but if you like the C language you can make this all with C language we can make the same like in C action so we define the dim taste one so we define the internal tag inside our script after we go to read this data we need read data from this tag so we go to hime runtime dot tags because we can use the special function from ECC after we put the name the name is output binary we can close and we can make the read so we read this data from this binary tag into our internal tag so now we need to make the if function so if our test one is one we need to write data then we need to put zero into our tag else and we need to remember about the and if let's make the space so in else function we need to put again the one so our script is running 0101 we can make also the comments so we can put 0 1 and 1 to 0 so we can make the comments with this element okay let's check the syntax no error okay let's save this and we need again go back to main screen or other screens the screen is is running after we go to the buttons we we have the c action we turn on the bit and we have the visual basic script action where we turn off the same bit and it's working like we want to have turn on turn off turn on turn off and our all rest buttons working the same like it was before and we have set and reset now you know how to make the buttons inside the WinCC V7 and you can use this in your scripts and visualization see you in next videos in friday